I'm Chris with Motion Worship, and I'm here to show you how to build guide tracks in Ableton for your worship set lists. In previous tutorials, I showed you some basic and advanced tips for creating click tracks in Ableton, but in this one, we're going to be diving into how to create guide tracks using vocal cues to accompany your worship set lists. Guide tracks are used to call out sections of a song, such as verses and choruses, to keep your whole team on time with the tracks. And if you want to build out your own custom guide tracks, you're going to have to get your hands on some guide samples. Now, there are plenty of places online that you can get guide samples, but I've always been frustrated with the lack of sample options that are a part of those packs. So we actually went and made our own. Uh, most vocal cue packs have around 60 to 70 samples, but ours has nearly double that at 108 samples. So you can go ahead and download that for free in the description below. First thing to do is open up Ableton and go to add folder on the left hand side and bring in the guide samples that you just downloaded. Now we're going to go over to drums and drag a drum rack onto our MIDI track and this is where we're going to be triggering all of our guide samples from. I'm going to go ahead and rename this header to guide. Okay, so now you can navigate over to your guide samples folder and drag in the guide samples that you want to use for your song. For today, I'm just going to drag in the intro counts, verse, chorus, and bridge cues. Okay, so we have our samples loaded in. Here's how you're gonna build your guide track. Go ahead and double click here to create a MIDI clip and then turn off the loop feature and turn the end and length times up to something super high like 200 measures. We just want it to be longer than the song itself. Now, if you wanna zoom in and out of this view, you can hover over where the numbers are until your cursor turns into a magnifying glass and scroll up or down to zoom in and out. Now we're gonna click and hold the MIDI clip we just created and press tab to get over into arrangement view and drag it to the beginning. And then you wanna make sure that you turn off this orange button. If that's on, you won't be able to hear any sound coming out of arrangement view. Okay, next thing we'll do is drag in our reference song. And if you're building guide tracks for a worship song, you can either go get the MP3 or multi-tracks for that to use as a reference. You just wanna make sure that you line it up correctly with the grid so it's dead on with the click. Quick note, if you press play in arrangement view, it's going to play at the last BPM and time signature that you had set up. So if you need to change that for your song, make sure you press tab to go back into session view, add the song name, the BPM and the time signature and press play here to reset the values up here and then go back into arrangement view, turn off this button and now when we press play, it should be in the correct BPM and time signature. Now line up the song to start on measure three so that we can go into our MIDI clip and add some intro cues. So we'll double click on our MIDI clip we have here and zoom into the first two bars. And then we're gonna draw in the intro and counts. Now building out the rest of the guide track is actually pretty simple. Just listen through the rest of the song and every time you hear a new section like a verse or chorus or bridge come up, right click underneath the numbers and add a locator at the beginning of that bar and then title that section. Once you're done adding the locators for the rest of the song, you can now just double click on your MIDI track and go to the appropriate sections and add the vocal cues one measure before each section. So this verse starts on measure 11. So we're gonna zoom into measure 10 in our MIDI clip here. And this is the verse. So we're gonna add the verse cue right at the beginning there. And then you can also add the two, three, and four counts if you prefer that. Building out the rest of the guide track is as simple as just doing that for each section of the song. If I were you, I would save this Ableton session somewhere so you can always come back and modify it later. But now that you have it built out, there's two different ways you can run the guide tracks. You can always click and hold this MIDI clip and press tab to get back into session view and drop it here. And now when you press play, you'll be running these guide samples as a MIDI track triggering samples inside of the drum rack. Or if you want to save it as an audio file that you can group with the rest of your worship tracks, you can go back to arrangement view, make sure that the guide track is selected, go to file, export audio video, and then make sure you have selected tracks only, convert to mono is on, and encode PCM so that you can export this as a WAV file. Then just go ahead and export it here and you can group that audio file with the rest of your worship tracks. And there you have it. That's how to build guide tracks for worship set lists inside of Ableton. 